Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we're at the Winter Nam in beautiful Anaheim. It, it's, it, it was cold in, in New York City. I left, it was nine degrees out here. It's beautiful, so happy to be here. And uh, even happier with the, uh, because we have Fender here, yep. uh, Justin Norvell, and uh, the legendary Fender brand. And they have, you know, really probably one of the more innovative products at the show. Yeah. Uh, Tell us a little bit about yeah. what we're looking at here. So this is the Acoustasonic Telecaster, and um, you know Fender's a 73-year-old company, but we're like still a 73-year-old startup. Um, and Leo Fender's kind of you know he was always just driving forward, you know whether it's the invention of the P bass, uh, basement amps, or the Tele leading in with the Esquire to the Telecaster to the Strat to the Jazzmaster, kind of never stopped. So we kind of took that modular approach and we're just thinking about, you know, the way people make music is changing, the styles are blurring, the way people record music, get signals is all changing. And so what, what do people want of a hybrid instrument these days? So what we created was this Acoustasonic Telecaster, which is totally in our form factor, which is gorgeous, but it's not just a vessel to get your sound out there. Um, it's not just an acoustic guitar, it's actually got a it's got a brain inside of it, so it gets augmented by some DSP. But it's not just a DSP vessel. Uh, the guitar itself is doing about half the work, 60% of the work, and then it's being augmented by a digital signal. That means you can record out direct and get it to sound great, but this guitar can sound like a jumbo, this guitar can sound like a dreadnought, it can sound like rosewood back and sides, parlor guitar, and it also, uh, can combine with electric tones and has some electric tones in it as well. So truly a versatile guitar, you know, for the 21st century. Uh, before we get into hearing it, I was curious, uh, given that, what, what do these knobs on this uh, guitar yeah, do? Yeah, so, so what you have is you have a volume knob here, you have what's called a mod knob here, and the mod knob just allows you to tweak the sound when you're in the different positions. So it'll roll off some mids, bring in some highs or different things, to, like different voices that we had. And then the five-way switch goes through different models. Then one enacts the, a, a, a soundboard pickup, and then one blends the electric and acoustic, and then one is just an all-electric signal. But still very simple. For as techy a guitar, it's two knobs and one switch. I was sort of curious about, um, you know, the action. Does it feel more like an acoustic guitar or does it feel like an electric guitar? With the strings we've got on it, it feels kind of like right up the middle. As far as the neck and the body and everything, it has that electric feel, but it's definitely got the kind of slightly stiffer acoustic feel. But when we were working with artists in the development of this guitar, uh, there were people that strung it up with lighter gauge strings, with electric strings, which you totally can do. Um, so what was the evolution? What, what sort of sparked the creation of this particular instrument? Well, we've just been playing around with the idea of that uh, kind of elusive hybrid acoustic electric or thin body instrument. And we had a bunch of ideas that we've been throwing around for like the last couple of years. And then some of the pieces just started to really fall together. Uh, we worked with Fishman on the electronics that are inside of it. And we really kind of required a quantum leap from what was their Aura system and we got to a point where Fishman was there and they had it. Uh, we had some design things like the speaker port type technology that we used in our sound holes, uh, the bracing we had to create for it. And it just was kind of this thing that was working through R&D over the period of about three years. But then all of the elements came together and it was really, you know, one plus one equals three in the end. It's really cool. Uh, can you play a little bit? Yeah, so we can let's go through here, it. Here, let me, I'll hold that. Thank you. Yeah, so basically, the mod knob you can hear, you can hear that it just opened up a little bit right there, so it can notch things out. You obviously don't have a lot of, um, you won't have feedback like you would with a normal acoustic guitar, but some settings are good for finger picking, like... Um, different voices. You've got a soundboard pickup, so you could do things like. And then you can bring in the electric guitar as well. So 
that's, get all those sounds really, in between. That's a really cool, like, Pete Townsend-y. Yeah, it's because it's uh, got a sound. little bit of that hollowness. The, the guitar is doing a lot of the work and the construction of it, so you do have, you are working with mahogany and spruce and all of those things, and it is hollow, so that is going to connote through what you got going on. Well, that, it's, it's really exciting. Um, is there, like, a, online, do you guys have, like, if somebody wants to check out a full-on yeah. demo of the guitar? Yeah, you can go to Fender.com or you can go literally anywhere. It's been all over the internet recently and um, we're just super excited about it. One of the things that we found that was pretty much the most exciting is we wanted a guitar that could do acoustic sounds and electric sounds, but what we found taking it around to artists, producers, etc., is that there's kind of an in-between. So if there's a freeway and it's one lane is acoustic, one's electric, people were grabbing this guitar and putting it with a whammy pedal or a pog and doing different things and finding sounds and tones that you probably wouldn't have done with a normal acoustic electric guitar. I heard a rumor that uh, that there was a demo that went up and, and and sort of overnight like a half a billion people like looked at this yeah, and downloaded it. it. Yeah, it's, a, it's truly been, and it's for us it's a super exciting just again because we are a historic company with legacy but we're still not afraid to keep pushing things forward and creating, you know, a new instrument that's going to kind of break open some new space for us. We're not afraid to kind of try different stuff. So, so. so we have a second or two. You brought another guitar with you. Yeah, I did. Let's show that real quick. So we got two things here. One thing I've got is we've got a Chris Stapleton Princeton amplifier, which is like a 62 Princeton. And that is modeled off of his Princeton. It's 12 watts. And it's got a 12-inch speaker in it, unlike most Princetons that have a 10. And it's got the tube bias tremolo. So everybody kind of goes for that 64 and later black face and silver face tone. Um, but what we've got here is the, the brown period, which is basically, you know, right in that sweet spot of 62, 63, uh, different circuit, et cetera. And it's a great sounding amplifier. So and this is the American Performer, which just recently came out which is our new entry level to Corona made uh, electric guitars. It's got jumbo frets, it's got Yosemite pickups, and all of them have a double tap switch on them, which allows you to do different things on different guitars. So on this guitar, when you do the push pull pot there, you can roll in neck pickup wherever you are. So you could be in the bridge and roll in neck and get telly sounds. On the humbucking version, it's actually a reverse coil tap so instead of weakening the, the pickup, it actually makes it bigger. So when you split the humbucker, you end up with a full-size single coil instead of a split, more anemic-sounding split. So you get that beautiful position, too, on a Stratocaster that everybody wants to get that you don't want to compromise away when you have a humbucker. And this one, on the American Performer, we came out with a new Mustang. We redesigned the bridge. We did a Jazzmaster with a Strat Trem. It's a ton of different models that we did that we're really excited about. You sort of had me at the uh, at the pick guard. I love that. Yeah, shape. the mint and the, the honey burst. This is a new burst for us too because you know we don't want everything to just be two tone and three tone burst, etc. Yeah. And in addition, we got some new pedals as well. We entered the pedal space last year uh, with a bunch of new pedals. With we, I think we started with six pedals, uh, and they've been really well received. So we have a rotary speaker simulator. We have a chorus, a phaser. We have a tremolo and reverb. Uh, a tube distortion that actually has a 6025 tube in it that was co-designed with Bruce Egnator, and the Downtown Express, which is a direct box for bass players, which has EQ, overdrive, and compressor. I'm sort of lusting after the, the tree verb. Yeah, Is there anything beautiful. special that you can uh, tell me about that? The, so what's cool about all of these is that there's uh, all of the modulation effects have something called dynamic control on them, and dynamic control changes the effect so when you dig in hard to the guitar the effect speeds up and when you play softer the effect slows down so as you're dynamically playing it responds with you so the phaser will spin faster and then slow down the chorus will warble faster and slow down so it's a really nice kind of easter egg that's different from what other pedals do well, you know, it's funny from their names. I can sort of guess what some of these do, but yeah. what is what does the pinwheel do? The pinwheel is the rotary speaker, oh, so it's the oh, spinning one. So yeah, okay. we're, we're a little cute and clever with the names, but <laughs> and the uh, the MTG uh, tube distortion is mind the gap, so like the like the tube, okay, uh, in London. So, well, uh, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it, man. Uh, a lot of great products. Go up to Fender.com if you want to. Yep find out more about all this stuff. Um, 
And uh, thank you for stopping by, man. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, Brad. It's yeah. always great to see you. Good, good seeing you. All right, man. Okay. Cheers. Okay, everybody, stick around. We have a 